Good morning, Carver. I'm Rashawn Henry. And I'm Kyle Times. Today is Tuesday, September 21st, 2021, and this is ENS News. It's the beginning of the school year, and you know what that means. Clubs and programs. Make sure you're informed about the many different programs and clubs the school offers so you don't miss out on these amazing opportunities. Also, the election for the class of 2023 is coming up. You will be able to vote for your variety representatives on September 28th and for class president and vice president on October 7th. Also, make sure to look at the class of 2023 classroom for updates on the start of junior prom committee. If you aren't a part of the class already and want to be added, email Ms. Swift at cswift at phyllisd.org. Keystone testing will last for four days starting today and ending on this Friday, September 24th. For those who will be taking the Keystone, testing will start at 745 on all four days. Students who are not testing will have a three hour late arrival and will come at 1045 and will report to advisory. Students who took uh, Algebra 1, Biology, English 2, and Literature will all be testing. And now to our reporters, we begin the PSA, PSA 1 Keystone. Students, come all and come forth. The time for testing is now. So here are some tips to ensure you get that perfect score. First, make sure to get seven to eight hours of sleep before the test. After that, eat a balanced and nutritious breakfast to get all the energy you need. Be sure to stay hydrated. Drinking even just a single glass of water can wake you up tremendously and improve your focus. Prepare, 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 prepare. Make sure you feel 100% ready before the test. Do your best and good luck. We all believe in you. Good luck this week. As you prepare for the Keystones, we talked to someone who's been preparing generations of students. Here's Ireland with more information. Today we'll be interviewing one of the most well-known teachers here at Carver. You may know her for her academic excellence in English or the experiences she's may have given you, but today we'll see her driving passion and what keeps her coming back. Everyone knows Ms. Aguilar has been here for a while, but do you know how long? Ms. Aguilar is the OG staff member here since the school's opening in 1979. I have been here for 42 years. We know, I think the kids now are just as attentive the students that I teach are just as attentive now as they were back 42 years ago, yeah. I think it's, I think kids are kids. Kids will always be kids, you know. Miss Aguilera loves to teach the classics. Her favorite book to teach is The Great Gatsby. But it's not just about the books. It's about the students. They're the reason why she shows up every day. This is the best school in the city. <laughs> this has the best kids. The kids here are, are they're wonderful. Not only are they smart, but I was talking to parents last night, and they're smart kids, they're polite, respectful, fun, fun. I feel like I can have a relationship with the kids here. I can talk to them, like, you know, they're not, they're great kids. The best part about teaching for me is seeing people again in the future who come back and say thank you, or come back and say, that book that I thought was really lame really helped me a lot, or we're do I learned a lot, or I felt really prepared for college. So I get some feedback on you know what I did wrong or what I could do to help them some more. But I feel like it's just, you know, I feel like I'm contributing. I know this sounds really corny, but I feel like I'm really contributing to society when kids yes. come back and come and talk to me and say, you know, that really helped. Ms. Aguilar gets to see some of her former students, like Ms. Moore Allen, every day. Aguilar is the GOAT. Like, she is the greatest of all time. I had her in my junior year um, for 11th and 12th grade English. And that woman taught me how to write a five paragraph essay in under an hour and, and have it be solid. So yes, I appreciate, I mean, she's also just a lovely human being. Um, you know, when I came back as a teacher, like she welcomed me and, you know, she's one of my best memories and also like current colleagues about this place. Like she's, she's, she's the heart of this place. I'm just very comfortable and very happy here. And I hope to do it a while longer. Certainly not 10, but <laughs> maybe a while longer. And now the quote of the day. Hey friends, Miss Bark is here. Just reminding you that no matter what's going on in the world, to love yourself and accept yourself where you're at. Thanks for tuning in. This is Rashawn Henry with ENS News. Have a wonderful rest of the week.